Hey everybody, Rochelle Jones, Grief Recovery, talking about a loss of trust. Who has experienced a loss of trust? Whether it's someone doing the opposite of what they said they were going to do or just not doing what they said they were going to do. What about when we see um, someone mistreat another person? It sort of affects our ability to trust that person. Maybe we've lost trust in ourselves because we didn't listen to that intuition and it ended up poorly or we thought our intuition was leading us one direction and it ended up poorly, so now we are experiencing an inability or a fear with trusting our intuition. You know, these are these are important. Uh, trust is huge. It's, it's a safety blanket, and without that, ah, what do we do? We could feel exposed, and and I hear that word vulnerable a lot. So what I do, what I use the grief recovery method for, for example, um, I had uh, I was trying to, you know, help some people that I saw were in trouble and they were in need and they were hurting. And um, for whatever reason, that turned out poorly. It turned it, it turned it out. <laughs> it turned out with, um, you know, people really, they were, I don't know what their reasoning was, but speaking very poorly against me and, um, you know, speaking poorly against me to other people and, and trying to get people to not want to be around me. Um, I don't know what that was about but it hurt, okay? These were all loved, trusted people. And, and I had people who I thought I had this close relationship with and they, they didn't go to bat for me. They didn't stick up for me. They knew my character. They knew my content. They knew the things and they, they said nothing. And that saying nothing broke trust for me. It broke safety in that relationship. And so what I did is I used my grief recovery method tools in each relationship with they don't know, but with each relationship where I had my belief system set that they should have said something to defend my character, to defend my honor, and they did not. They remained quiet as far as I know. And so I used my grief recovery method tools so that hurt didn't end up affecting all these other relationships, you know, uh, because that's what loss does. It it's experienced in one place, but then it starts to ripple out and affect other relationships where now I'm not willing to trust most people because you know what, I've experienced this over here and that's not exactly fair or healthy. So perhaps you've experienced a loss of trust. There's someone who should have showed up in your belief system. Your belief system says that person should have stood up for you. They should have gone to bat for you. They should have said something. They should have stood by your side when you were being wrongly treated. And they didn't. That's a loss of trust. And you don't just have to carry those wounds. You can use a grief recovery method to, to deal with your emotional buildup from that hurt so that it doesn't, you know, uh, ripple out onto other people. And then you don't carry the lasting effects of that. I hope that's helpful. I love you. Bye-bye.